minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, engine full power, and lift off to Falcon 9, go to tilt at 10 b go 1049. Vehicle's catching down range. Stage 1 propulsion is nominal. Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from pad 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station carrying the UTELSAT 10B satellite. Power and telemetry. Now during ascent, the M1D engines will actually swivel and help steer Falcon 9. This is known as gimbal. The rocket autonomously tilts the engines just a few degrees, and this gimballing allows the vehicle to Falcon perform. Supersonic. Allows the vehicle to perform a gravity turn, which is when we go vertical as well as horizontal. Now we're still going up, but we are also heading horizontally away from the launch pad. And we have just heard that we've passed through max Q. That is the largest structural load that the vehicle sees on ascent. Now we will throttle those M1D engines back up on the first stage. This is a really cool tracking view of our Falcon 9 vehicle. Coming up, Next, in about a minute, we will have a few events happening back to back. That will be Miko stage back engine chill has started. Miko stage separation and SCS one. We just heard that call out that the MVAC engine is chilling. Now, Miko is main engine cutoff. That is where all nine of the M1D engines shut down on the first stage. That's what you're seeing lit up on your screen there. They will shut down in preparation for stage separation. That's where the first and second stages will separate. Stage one will um, not be landing on today's mission. And stage two will continue on its journey to take the UTELSAT-10B satellite to its targeted drop-off orbit. Now those events are coming up here in about 20 seconds. Main engine cut off. Stage separation confirmed. <laughs> Stage one FTS is safe. <laughs> Great news, we did have Miko stage separation, and there you can see on your screen that MVAC engine has ignited. Now, as a reminder, we are not attempting to land our first stage today as our mission requires more performance, so it will use up the fuel typically used for landing. Now, coming up next will be fairing separation in a few seconds here. Great live view there of the fairing halves separating from the stage fairing two separation. vehicle. Oh, Inquisition of signal, Bermuda. And there we heard the confirmation call out. We will be attempting to retrieve these fairing halves again today once they fall back down to Earth using our recovery ship, Doug. Second stage is currently in the middle of its first burn and our next milestone coming up is second engine cutoff one or SECA one. And that's scheduled to happen in about four minutes from now. Now, if you're just joining us, we are currently at T plus four and a half minutes into today's mission, UTELSAT 10B. So far on the mission, we've had a successful liftoff, MECO, stage separation, SES-1, and fairing separation. 
Again, as a reminder, we did not attempt the landing of our first stage vehicle today as this mission requires more performance. Again, we will be utilizing all of the fuel inside of the stage vehicle. Stage two following an anomalous trajectory. We did utilize all the fuel needed for this mission. So the vehicle is being expended today. Now we're currently in the first burn of two planned MVAC burns prior to satellite deployment. And our next major milestone that we have coming up is SECO-1. And we are just under three minutes away from SECO-1 on the second stage. That's second stage engine cutoff one. We did hear that stage two is on a nominal trajectory, so good news there. And what you're seeing on your screen is a live view on the Falcon 9 second stage, looking at our MVAC engine. Now the MVAC engine is optimized for 220,500 pounds of thrust in the vacuum of space. It utilizes liquid oxygen RP-1. That's what we fill our vehicles with. And the, the Merlin vacuum engine also features a larger exhaust section and a significantly larger expansion nozzle. And that's compared to the M1D engines that you see on the first stage vehicle. Now this is to maximize the engine's efficiency in the vacuum of space. At full power, the Merlin vacuum engine operates with the greatest efficiency ever for an American-made hydrocarbon rocket engine. Again, if you're just now joining us, you are watching the mission for UTEL Sat-10B's satellite. And we are just a little over a minute away from SECO-1 on the second stage. Now, prior to liftoff, some of you may have noticed that our second stage looks very similar to first stage. Not only does it look similar, but it also has the same diameter, uses the same metal in the tanks, same computers, same propellant, and nearly the same engine. Now, this allows us to use similar tooling, design, and systems to essentially build two rockets that are more reliable. Again, the next event coming up is SECO-1. This will be the first shutdown of this MVAC engine. We do have two planned burns. Stage for two is the terminal guidance. We do have two planned burns for this mission to get UTELSAT 10B to its targeted drop off orbit.